So when we hear the gospel today, we think, oh, Jesus is telling things for the apostles to do. That's great. We are off the hook because we're not the apostles. We don't have anything to do with that. Guess what? Wrong. The disciples went. They worshiped Jesus, but they doubted. The people who knew Jesus doubted. So if by chance you have doubts in your life about your faith, about your church, when you say that, well, gee, the apostles who were with Jesus, who knew Jesus, they had doubts, I guess it's okay if we, who didn't know Jesus personally, may have had a doubt or two. It's all right. Go and make disciples of all nations. Oh, that's an easy one. That's a clergy thing. That's what they get to do. The clergy get to go and make disciples. That's not me. Wrong again. Sorry. We are all called to make disciples of all nations. Whether we're out talking to somebody or just being ourselves, to, let, to show people that there is a difference in our life than maybe in theirs. Something to think about. Baptize them. Also, an important thing there are people in the community who come to Holy Family every weekend yet they may not be baptized for whatever reason. They can get baptized. They can go through the rite of Christian initiation for adults. It's about nine month process and get baptized on Holy Saturday in one of the most beautiful ceremonies the church has. Teaching to observe all that I have commanded. That's not just the apostles either. That goes with us. How do we teach? Do we go up to somebody and say, excuse me, what do you know about Jesus? Do you love Jesus? I know Jesus. Is that something that we're asked to do? Uh, probably not as much. How about by how we live our lives, by how we present ourselves to others. I don't know, maybe it's, I've used this one before, but I still like it. There's this parking space that you've been coveting for a while. And you go there, and yet you're willing to give it up to somebody else. That's a pretty cool thing to do. And again we hear, I am with you always until the end of time. Not until the end of mass, not until the end of the weekend, but the end of time. Not just our lives, but forever. So Jesus comes to us. He is with us always. And we need to share that faith with others.